Hello everybody. Welcome to our Storyline Express model basic data types. Detailed documentation on the subject is available in Mozilla Quick Reference Guide and in Mozilla language.pdf. Same documentation is also available online in Express Optimization Help documentation website. In Express Mozilla, there are four basic data types: reals, integers, strings, and booleans. They can be declared using a declaration block, but this is not necessary. You can also go with the implicit option as well. They can be set to their values using the semicolon and equal to operator. They can be put into operations together. They can be converted to other types using functions like string, real, and integer. In Express Mozilla, sets and lists can be used to hold a number of data elements together. They can be declared using this syntax by saying set of your data type or list of your data type. Sets only hold unique elements, and they are set using these curly brackets. Lists can hold the same element more than once, and they are set using these square brackets. Ranges are a special type of sets. They hold the ordered integers together. You can add new elements to your sets using plus equal to operator and remove from using minus equal to operator. The multiplication operation takes the intersection of sets. The size operation will give you the size data of your sets and lists. You can use for all loops and some loops to iterate through the elements of your sets and lists. When I execute this piece of logic here, the first thing we will see is the result of this intersection. Mexico. Next. The size of the countries is equal to 3. Next, we will be seeing a list of the countries here. And finally, the result of the sum operation of all elements in the list L1. In Express Mozilla, arrays are useful in holding a table of data elements. For example, my goal here to have a data structure to hold the population of particular countries. To do that, I am declaring this population array on set countries. Arrays can be multidimensional as well as single dimensional. They can be declared on hard coded ranges and sets. Here I am storing data for the hard array, which is declared on the range from 1 to 5. Next, I am populating the values for the population array. Now let's put a breakpoint right here and run our logic until this point. When the compiler reaches this point, we can see that the country set has two elements. This means Mozilla is inferring that population array is declared on the set countries. And once we execute this piece of logic, it will automatically put USA and Mexico into the set countries. In Express Mozilla, you can also use dynamic arrays. Dynamic arrays are used to hold the data in sparse format. This means shipment quantity array will not hold data for every combination of countries and products, but only for the specified combinations in your logic. Let's put a breakpoint here and run our logic until this point. At this point, the country set has four elements because we added two new ones, Turkey and Canada to it. Product set has three elements, apple, orange, and pear. But shipment quantity array has only three elements, not the all 12 combinations. If I only iterate through the combinations where we have data for the shipment quantity only, I will have to construct my for all loop like this by putting this exists check right here. This feature of dynamic array is very useful in terms of both memory consumption and computational efficiency. Thank you for watching our basic data type tutorial. In our next video, 
we will be going through the advanced data types.